Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Sebalonian, and today I'm going to show you how to install and use the mod Windtills, which, which is specifically made for Windcraft. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me for this mod and how to uh, install it and what it's called and whatsoever. So it's Windtills, as uh, simple as that. And I am going to need you to go to two websites. The first one is Windtills. Dot com and the second one's second one is minecraftforge.net uh, we're actually gonna start off on forge here and we're gonna want to go to 1.12 and then 1.12.2 and I would recommend the uh, recommended download that's the one I've been going for I haven't tested the latest one I don't think it should be a problem but we're gonna download this we're gonna click skip and then you should have this as uh, so we're actually going to run this. And this should be where your Minecraft dot Minecraft is. And you just have make sure you have install client selected. You press OK. Then it does its thing. It says successfully installed. You click OK. And now you want to go into percentage app data. You should be familiar to this. Uh, this is how you install every mod basically. So we have this thing here. Uh, now you should go into versions and you should see this one with a forge name in it. Uh, that's how you know you have forge installed. So we're going to launch Minecraft. Let me move this over. Uh, we're going to make a new. This is in Swedish, of course. We're going to select the version, scroll all the way down. Uh, and I do believe it's this one. Yes, it's 2768. Uh, this is just the uh, latest version, but it doesn't really matter. Select the Forge one, uh, name it something, Forge, whatever. Create that. Uh, then we have this. Uh, we're going to press play. That's going to launch. It should load something like this. Uh, if you already have Forge installed, of course, you can skip this. Uh, you just should have this mod thing right here, and that, you know, it works. You have uh, four mods loaded. These are the ones, Minecraft Coder Pack, whatsoever, it doesn't really matter. We're going to quit, and now we're going to go here, and this mods should now be here. Uh, this wasn't here before. So that's great. We know that's working, so we're going to head over to Windtills. Click go to download, then download, and uh, let's see here. Click this one and download that. This is the latest one. If they recommend another version, just pick that. We're actually going to drag and drop this to mods like that. Nothing more. We're going to head over to Minecraft again and make sure we have this one selected. Of course, I have these other ones, but... Make sure it's this correct one. Press play and we're going to see if we were successful in the launch. Uh, or the installation rather. Perfect, here we are. You should be able to see this thing. If you don't, <laughs> maybe something went wrong. I'm not 100% uh, sure. I've always seen this symbol. This should correct uh, connect you to Windcraft right away. Of course, you can navigate as you always do to Windcraft. But this is a direct access. So we're going to log in and I'm going to show you some features. All right. Uh, Windtills map is downloading. We're going to wait for that. Meanwhile, we can log into a server here. We're going to pick this one. Okay. So we're in debt list. There's a lot of people. And as you can see, we have this XP. That's one thing you have been asking me for. Uh, first things first, uh, this, the quest book, is where you find uh, the navigation. There the po map popped up. All right, so uh, configuration and everything is in the quest book. So make sure you click that. First thing we're going to do is go to overlay. And this is default. Minimap is over here. I like to keep it on the side somewhere here. 
uh, and then you just click apply. Of course, you can change everything. It says on here what it is. You can also remove it. Uh, I think I'm not gonna <laughs> test it out. Game update ticker, that's the um, XP. And of course, then you have everything else. We're gonna hit apply. Then we have configuration. And here is where you can do a lot of things. For example, experience, make sure this is enabled. You can of course disable it and it won't show. Enable like that and you can uh, do a lot of things basically. You can. I haven't really changed a whole lot. Uh, you can configure the music, the map. There's a lot of settings, but I like to keep it the way it is. Uh, the one thing I did change was I think this, where it says all. Uh, let's see if I can find that thing. Because with Windows, you have uh, different categories for the chat. Let's see if we can find it here. Chat, all the way up. Uh, vanilla, is that it? I think, A, B, yes, let's do it like that, apply. I'm gonna check it out. Yes, so you can check out only shouts, only G slash P. I don't know what that is. Private messages and global, of course. Uh, but I I wanna keep it the vanilla way like that. So we're gonna apply. Uh, yeah, and that's what also gives this look. It's amazing. I love Windows. And since you, so many of you asked, I just wanted to show you how to install it and what you can do with it. It's revolutionary. And I think the guys who did it deserve a lot of credit for it. Um, so thank you to Windtails for making this awesome mod. And of course to Windcraft for making the game mode or the server in the first place. But I think that's going to be it. If you have any problems, please do comment. And I'll try to help you the best I can. But it should be pretty straightforward. All, all you need to do really is download Forge and then just drag and drop Windtails. Uh, make sure you have the latest download, of course, and 1.12.2. As of now, that's very important. That might change, of course, but that's the way it needs to be done right now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more win-related content, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.